there's a gun. Back in the same spot. How's everyone going? Uh, it's been two weeks. Two weeks for me, a couple of days for you guys. So you'll have to bear with me today. Hands are sore a little bit from working on saws Friday night and all of yesterday. So what are we doing today? OHS ready to go, as you guys may have seen in the live stream. I think I did a little... Actually, I was going to do a short, but I couldn't get it. Because I moved around so much, I couldn't get it in the one... All in the in the frame. Three ninety four. If you guys were present or you watched the, the shorts, I have. If you haven't, brand new cable rings, brand new NOS intake manifold. So she should be good to go. We'll, Put some time on it today. I I don't think the chain's any good that's on it. Someone sharpened it with a with a grinder and heated the teeth up so the file's not doing anything spectacular. I've got to swap that out. I've got a skip tooth chain in the car. Or bar end chain in the car, I'll just swap it over. It's got the hard nose Oregon on it. 372 kit saw. Swapped the ignition coil. They are sending me another one. It's got to come from China. I've got the saw from Australia. I don't know what, why they do that. They should stock parts here. Excuse me a second. The stock 645 Solo. Let's come for a run today, finally. I forgot my actual other tripod. So this is the original one from the from the channel, the phone has a tendency to slip out of the mount because the rubber come unstuck. There's one little, one little piece of rubber there stops this phone from flicking out. Uh, and a whole heap of yellow. A couple of the shorts. There's a one Mini Mac 110, 120 in the shorts, I believe. 300 series, I haven't ran them. I don't know if that was a memory I mentioned in the previous video. One of the previous videos or live streams. I can't remember if it was me that ran it or I dreamt I was someone else running one. It's weird. I, I have some weird dreams, but pretty much they all come true, so... I was probably dreaming of this day, I don't know. Deja vu. I did bring my chaps because of the big saws. Oh, and the maiden voyage of the 2511T clone. So I could possibly. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six yellow saws. One of those I couldn't bring because it turns out it's not cooperating. I don't know if it's rare. I've never seen one before. I haven't searched on acres, but I'll reveal it. It is a Mini Mac. But from the Black and Decker days, I think, or yeah, it would have been. When they were transitioning, I'd say. Six, yeah, 6.45. The Mini Max, the 300 Series Max. I've got two, two with me. I didn't bring the brand new NOS one because I need the side cover on this. 
mat cut. That's the side cover for my NOS build. I believe it was off this one, looking at it. 14 inch hard nose, no bucking spike. The ported 110 with a properly sharpened chain. Anyway, I'll get organized and I want to do a torture test on the OHS, but there's no logs here big enough. Only that, this one right here. But it's hollow. I might uh, do the 372 first. Catches in a jiffy. Hey guys, how's it going? <coughs> Oh, this. Yeah. 25 inch bar on a 56cc saw. I sorted the carb out. Um, you've been following along with this saw, Chris, and all that. I know you guys do. <coughs> been battling in the live streams with carb issues this is the original carb no it's not it's another one sorry it's a non govern carb I put a govern carb on it so all the videos previous to the first two uh, so after the first two up until now it's had a govern carb in it it's a HL Tilly. The original carb, the throttle butterfly rod had movement, so it was sucking in air. So it been, so it's had like air leak symptoms since I first built it, basically. So I found a, a good re replacement carb, non-governed. Put a kit in it, still leaked. Still leaked down on the pressure test. No matter how low I put the metering lever, it would still leak. So I pulled it back apart. I put a cotton tip or a, we call them cotton buds, cotton tip, Q-tip in a drill. Cleaned it, uh, cleaned the seat. Put it all back together, holds pressure. And now we're here. So this will be the last run with the muffler. Stock muffler with a hole drilled here. Still running the original baffle. The flange, I'll be cutting off this muffler and I'll be putting a pipe on it. So this is the torture test. I don't have a 25 inch log, but it's pretty close. Let's get into it, see how she goes. Jesus. 
One and a bit on the high. Different altitudes than home. Rocket bearing needs a bit of grease. The chain's not, uh, the bar's not drilled on the right side for the oil. It's got to be drilled on this side, so I'll drill a hole with my diamond burr. One more cut.
you're stuck to the drum. Absolute animal. I can't get over it. I mean, you can get 36, 42. Like the bars for the 070, 090, they advertise 08S as well on those exact bars. I hope the, the light's all good. I'll have a look. The sun's just come out decided to sit right in the middle of the screen. So I've got to, yeah, I'll have to drill the hole because the oil is on this side of the saw, not on the engine side. The hole's not there for the OHS. But the oil is drip, there is some dripping across the top and down the bottom. It's getting some sort of oil, just not enough. That's hand filed chain last night. It's got a nice hook. I could actually see one, two, two teeth there from my actual right hand. My left hand sharpening is just off chops. 404, I was using a, I think it was a 1364 file. 5mm. Five 5mm Five file, I think it was last night, because it's past half, past half its life, teeth. There's one tooth that actually has probably Is it that one, or there's one with less, I think. So the teeth aren't all the same size, guys, it's just a myth. As long as your rake is the right setting as opposed to your teeth. And I think I put them at 30 thou, too. Yeah, they're all low, guys. <laughs> That's 30 thou on the rakers, that's hardwood setting. 30 thou, hard or soft? I forget now my, I've got the Husky, I think it's the Husky. 
No. It might be husky. It's a it's a plate about that long and it's got four four holes, two up the like close to two back. This is the close setting. Whatever that is. I think it's 30 thou. I think we're out of fuel. I'd love to give it another cut. Oh yeah, she's thirsty. How many cuts did I do guys? Probably six, seven. Oh man. And that's still, uh, actually this is electronic, single tab, Taxum ignition, ignition chip. You know what, we'll go up to the tailgate and we'll have a, have a bit of a talk on the first two saws, how about that? Ah, uh, OAS. Give it, that'll give it be a, that'll give it be a stiffy. Far out. I reckon Darcy's will do it. Uh, um, my first one, if you... I was going to put up a... Short little snippet from the last live stream. Darcy brought the OADS. And I started them both up to show everyone they were still running. But there was only one... One person watching the live at the time, I think. So if you want, I can still put that up or go back and watch the second last live stream. It's the two and a half hour one, I think it was. Uh, scroll to about... Two thirds of the way across the time and you'll, I think you'll see. I'll start the 394, my OADS, Darcy's OADS, and one of these Minimax. I've already put that up though, I think. Uh, yeah, where? What can I say? Uh, it gobsmacks me. Everything I put it through, it, it does it with ease. It'll do the 25 a lot better if it was fully oiling the chain like it's supposed to. I will modify, I will drill a hole where I've got to put it in the clutch side, in the outside cover hole slot. I may as well make it uh, universal because I use the 25 on 051s to 070. OAS. The chain I use on the Super Pro 125, Dolmar 152. I've got to do another video on the R435 partner with the 24 inch bar because I have never ran it with 24 yet, but <clears throat> I will have a look at the what's going on, why. It, probably the heat I think it's a it's not a steel clutch it's got the shoe brake pad shoes on it I think so I'd say they're sticking to the drive sprocket and then when they cool down a bit they let go that's that's what I'm thinking or do I need stronger springs on the clutch I probably need stronger springs I'll probably just get an aftermarket steel shoe clutch probably what I need to do I think there is a little bit more tuning to be had like a little bit more out of it but because it's 25 404 I wanted to leave it a bit fat and believe it or not these teeth are still razor sharp they're still lifting the skin on my thumb probably won't there you go Unreal. Like it's not that much longer than a 21, but it's 404. And this is semi chisel chain. The original bar, the 25 Jack Max, the 21, 21 inch Jack Max is 404 full chisel. This is semi. <clears throat> so, well, and it's 30 thou on the rakers. 
I'll show you exactly my breaker gauge. Hore hore. Yes, it's not properly hardened spring steel, but it's on that setting there. So that would be softwood, that would be hardwood, I, I believe. So you got your 20, 25, 30 thou. That's what they're at, this one here, as you can see. That's what, because the fire wears it out a little bit, but I've learnt to pick up when it's taking, when it's uh, filing the actual raker gauge. That's Oregon raker file. Swiss, it says Oregon, but Swiss, it's probably a Velorb. Uh, and I will show you guys now before I get into it my 3 8 3 8 low pro and 0.325 I do have a 404 one but I can't find it at the moment oh, I bought the 325 I must have two of these Carlton filer plate can you pick it up on the screen there or no? Carlton filer plates. I bought the last five known to exist on eBay. Brand spanking new in the packets. 375, that's 38. This one's got, got a little bit rusty in the packet. There should be a 38 slow pro here as well, but I must have left it at home. Uh, the 38 slow pro and the 325 yeah 0.325 have you could do both sides of your chain without flipping it the 38 one you can't <coughs> it's set to one side so you've got to do your left tooth flip it over do your right flip it over do your left so sometimes if I say it's cut and crooked or I do this, it means it's cut and crooked in the video and it's because I've got to flip it. And I don't get that, that crook, cut and crooked problem on chains that are from brand new to about half half the life so you got your tooth about when it gets halfway um as for the 25 can you see is it that tooth right there that's down halfway to this one they're all different sizes There's one there that's, so this, this, these two teeth here are exactly half. That one and that one are exactly half worn down. Everything else is less. There might be one that has more. As for the, the top plate angle, they're all different because it's by eye. Uh, have a look at that one. That's a sharper angle than that one. There's one there that's convex as well. Yeah, that one there. It's a bit convex. I don't know if these will make it out. Still cut straight. It's uh, to do with your rakers. Oh, I, I know I'm probably I'm repeating what everyone else says, but like I'm 40 in in February, 
I've been running sore and sharp sharpening chains since since I was 16. I started with the Granberg jig that mounts to your bar, like mounts to your chain, and you put the file in. Granberg and McCulloch, I believe the other one was, because it was yellow and black. Probably even Eager Beaver. I'm not 100% sure. So that's how I, well, what I used when I first got into it. Sharpening my Promax 610 and the 750 EVL Echo. But I've watched, like I watch, but I follow Bucking, guys. If you didn't know, I'm on, I've been watching him for probably. Six years. Doesn't feel that long, but I've been with I've been with these guys for four, and I was with Bitchy Mill for two years, and I started watching pretty much six years ago. So I watch every video he does on sharpening. I've watched a few other people, and I've integrated that into my my sharpening i sharpen with both hands now i never used to it used to be right hand only and it used to cut crooked all the time didn't matter what i did all the time it cut crooked so then i got the two the two in one it's okay like for out here like right now if i needed to sharpen right now a two in one is probably the best thing if you if you've got time if you've got time you could do it the other way. If you got a if I had so the plans are for this Ute if I keep it, it's gonna get a tray back with drop drop down sides, you know what I mean? Like a steel tray or an aluminium tray, it's got a tub on it with a hard lid. It's got a the toe tongue. I want to put a vice in there so I can sharpen properly while I'm out here if I have to. Uh, a vice that you can swivel would be ideal. So I could. I'll just give you a, a, like a demonstration, and then we'll get on to the next saw. I've been babbling long enough. So the saw's in the vice. Okay, I could turn the vice, mount the chain mount the saw in the vise like this or even possibly up further even like that would be fine and then I could sh sharpen it both ways if you know what I mean next tooth next tooth whatever way so that's the plans if uh, all goes well and I you know get into it anyhow guys I'll Stick this OAS back down here. Anyhow, back in the jiffy. Thanks for watching, Uru.